switch using CSS3. So before moving further, I would like to do some of the math that is required before we work on creating a toggle switch. So what is that math involved? So if I want to create a toggle switch of this sort and the button that I want to toggle is of 20 pixels and the bottom is of 5 pixels. So what will be the height of that entire slider that I want to create? So it is going to be 20 plus 5 that is 25 and the top 5. So the height is going to be 30 pixels of my switch. Next, if I want to have this kind of an effect and I want to translate it on the x direction. So it will move by 20 pixels. So I need to guess the width of the slider. So what is going to be the width of the slider if I have a margin of 5 pixels. Say I am shifting it by 5 pixels. So 5 plus 20 that is 25. Again this 20 which is 45 and this 5. So if you notice the width is going to be 50 pixels. And here is what we are going to do. So the entire switch is going to be having a width of 50 pixels the height is of 30 pixels the slider this radius is going to be again of 30 pixels which is nothing but the height of my switch then slide before so this particular this circle that we are going to create will be added using the pseudo element of before and adding a content basically this content is not going to get displayed because we are not showing anything but the height width and everything is going to be 20 20 the left and bottom would be 5 pixels. So this is what the math is involved and I have some math for you that you can do yourself. Say I have a height of 24 pixels and the bottom is of 2 pixels. Can you guess what will be the diagonal of this particular content would be? So yes you guessed it right the diagonal would be 20 pixels because at the top we are we are going to have 2 pixels so 2 plus 2 that is top 2 and bottom 2 is going to be 4 and this 20 so it is going to be 24 pixels now next if I want to have again moved it by 20 pixels and the width is going to be 44 pixels so can you guess what will be the portion that we are going to leave on the right hand side and the left hand side so it is going to be 2 pixels and 2 pixels on the left here is how you can have a different kind of uh, switch with different width and height. So this is what the math is all about. Now I am going to take you further by creating this entire code to create a toggle switch. Basically I have taken this reference from W3 schools. So I am going to show you how to work with it. Now I have, I am using Visual Studio Code for development purpose and here is my browser so you can see the real time effect the code that I am going to write so first of all I am going to write our markup html colon 5 this is the title toggle switch so if you see my directory structure I have a app.css and I have a index.html file so I am going to link my app.css first of all so link 
function of this is again absolute the background color is white but you can see you cannot see that any box which has been displayed till now okay because we are not specified the height and width so let me specify the height also so as i told you the height is going to be 20 pixels as well as the width which is also going to be 20 pixels okay still you can see there is no block because we have not added the content so this is the important property that we need to add now you can see the box has been displayed but we need to fix its position so from left i'm going to say it is moved by 5 px and from bottom also we're going to adjust it by 5 pixels all right so we have our box position properly now we are going to say the border radius is going to be 50 percent so we have our button here that if you want to click it should be toggled here okay so what we can do we are going to write whenever that checkbox is checked that's why we have put it that checkbox so we will say input colon check plus so plus means the adjacent element so what is the adjacent element that we have in the checkbox that is the slider so after adding that slider i will say change the background color to blue so let us check this effect so if i click here you can see the background color has been changed to blue and if i click it here again it has gone back to the grayish color now next thing i want to do is i want to toggle this button from here to here so for that again what i can do i am going to write input colon check whenever that checkbox is checked plus dot let's modify that contain so what modification we want to do for that particular contain so we want to translate it so we are going to write transform translate in the x direction because we need to move this from here to here so how much we want to move we want to move it by 20 px so after adding this slider dot before and transforming it by translating this button to by 20 pixels if i click it here you can see it has been translating here but we are not having that nice effect it is doing very fast so what we can do we can say okay if any transition that is happening on the slider that is the color that is being changed from gray to blue and again from blue to gray i want a transition 